Okay, so we're looking at something from the SBS news site today. It's a short clip. Uh, it's a social. Um, it's a social community piece. So what's really difficult with these types of uh, news videos or news articles is that it's not really you know official. Um, business English or news English, but at the same time, it's not idioms and slangs all over the place, but it's a combination. So this is actually more difficult than your average formal news piece. So again, you really need to be looking for the meaning, right? Trying to find out what are they trying to say through these idioms, and then interpreting it in the easiest way in English first, and then as you get more advanced, you can replace that easy language with more difficult advanced uh, English, right? So let's take a look at the video as a whole, and then I'm going to give you my quick summary of it in one to two sentences, then we'll go piece by piece for the detailed interpretation. So let's take a look. 고등학교 2학년 김남규 학생은 할아버지 할머니들을 위해서 무료로 영정 사진을 찍는 봉사 활동을 하고 있습니다. Okay, so this short sentence here, well actually it's not that short, short clip but long sentence, a lot of information, but what is the main point? Remember always looking for the verb that's going to give you your subject and then it's going to give you the hint of the rest of it, is it talking about the subject, is it talking about the verb or is it talking about the object or what he's doing. So anyway, the main point is um, 봉사 활동을 하고 있습니다. 하고 있습니다, which means right now, right? So gives you the hint. It's gonna be to be, you know, verb ing. Is volunteer ring 봉사 활동. Now be careful not to use words such as volunteer activity, right? I don't know what that is. What is a volunteer activity? It's not a volunteer event. It's the fact that he's doing this kind of work. So. Is volunteering. Who is? It says here, 고등학교 2학년 김남규. 2학년 김남규. Now, a very common error that I hear is always second grade. Okay? Second grade high school. Well, in English, there's no such thing as a second grade high school because grade school goes from kindergarten to grade 12. That's the highest grade you will ever get to. Now, once you finish grade 12, you have years. Year 1, year 2, year 3, year 4, so on and so forth for when you go to university or when you go to college. However, in the middle here, in the grade schools, we also have elementary school, junior high school, or sometimes people call it middle school, Right? And then we have high school. Now, as I said, grades go from K to 12, but sometimes, depending on where you live, in the States, I know they do this quite a bit, when you go to the different schools, they start back in year one, year two, year three. Okay? Just like in Korea, right? They have 초등학교, 중학교, 고등학교, and then they start back with year one, year two, year three. But we don't say grades, okay? So here you could say um, a second year high school student and then his name, Kim Namgyu, or we'll start with his name. He's the most important thing, right? Kim Namgyu and then comma, comma, who is a second year high school student, or you could say who is a student in his second year of high school. Now that's the entire subject. What's the verb? We already did it. Is volunteering. Is volunteering. Now, 위해. 누구를 위해? 할머니, 할, 아, 할아버지, 할머니들을 위해. We already know 위해. It's for, right? For, now, not grandma, grandpa, but for the elderly. For the elderly. Now, what do we have left? What he does, right? 무료로 영정 사진을 찍는 거. Okay, so he's volunteering for the elderly, and then we want to think about 어떻게, how, right? By, by taking portraits, right? By taking portraits, taking pictures, same thing, taking portraits, and then 무료로, for free. So the whole thing is, Kim Nam Gyu, 
Kim Namgyu, who is a second year high school student, is volunteering for the elderly by taking portraits for free.